Oh. <laughs> I don't even have the camera on. I was going to film something a little bit more extravagant than this video that you're watching right now. My voice started to kind of hurt, so I stopped because I don't want to push it. I don't want to be able to not be able to sing later on. I've done a lot of things today. Um, I got up, I got out of bed, I took a shower, uh, which was nice. And then I was gonna cut my fringe. Actually, oh, pfft, that's what we can do. We can cut my fringe because it's getting to the point. Look at my fringe, all right? It's just getting to the point where it's just too, um, like I can see it. This could go either amazing or it could go really bad. When you cut your fringe, you need a hairbrush, some light, a mirror, preferably. That'd be great. Are there any lighting companies that want to spawn uh, your girl? I really want those bicolor lights, the ones that can kind of dim um, because that is just way too harsh for my purple hair. I feel like I should probably go into the bathroom for this. Hi, this is a tutorial, but it's not really. And there's a little bit of a trim trimmy, trim trimmy, trim trimmy, trim trimmy, trim trim trim. Please just stop. My part is like a bit crazy, right? Because this is my scar from where I got um, eaten by a zombie. No, um, <laughs> it all started with a guinea pig, literally a guinea pig. And uh, basically that guinea pig had some sort of like fungus growing on it. And me being really young at the time, I was probably touching it and I probably didn't wash my hands or you know, or the fungus went underneath my nails or something. And basically, I started growing this big lump on my head. I was like in year two, I think. I had to wear this hat for uh, the school day picture and I just remember feeling really bad and I remember this stupid kid. <laughs> He's like, you're not allowed to wear hats inside. I was like, oh, I, I'm allowed to. <laughs> and I didn't want to say, I've got this thing growing on my head. And then all of a sudden, this bloody kid just stood up and then he took the hat off my head while I was sitting in class and I, I just remember crying and screaming like feeling so embarrassed but like I don't think anybody saw it looked like there was like a golf ball kind of just popping up on my head I think maybe this um but I think by cutting this off and making that a part of the fringe will even it out because I did this I was like in a rush just cut it just there we go. Ah. Ah! <laughs> it's fine. And the trick is to not cut off too much. Is the key. Just don't cut your fingers off. What is this? Oh my god, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. But also be mindful that, you know, I'm touching my fringe, it's progressively getting oilier because my the grease in my hands or whatever the natural oils in my hands if there is any I'm like my hands are just so dry from washing them so much it's crazy I think the, the trick is to go as slowly as you can um, and patience oh there goes the camera and oh you can see my eyes now oh my god this audio is like 30 minutes I will be back. I'm going to finish the fringe and I'll show you the finished product. That's what it looks like. I like it. I think it looks cute. Um, and also, I did it myself. I was super proud that it kind of doesn't look too bad. Like, I've seen I've seen worse fringe, fringes um, out there in the world, in the land of fringe place. Not like too above the eyebrow. Even though, like, I've been thinking about that, but then. Um, I don't think it'll suit me. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not a very, what's the, it's like so edgy to have like a shorter fringe. Um, and this one's more like a, a bit of an Anne Hathaway kind of feel. 